We cardiologists are very preoccupied with fat. The obesity epidemic and its consequences are constantly before us. We know that a body mass index less than 25 loosely predicts that you are carrying the right amount of fat. Still, some fats are especially bad, like deep fried oils and trans fats. On the other hand, fats can be healthy. Omega-3s are very important for our bodies and we should be eating plenty of these every day. I will try to summarize my perspective on this very important topic. Omega-3s are the healthiest fats, having numerous important and beneficial roles throughout our bodies. The omega-6s are also considered essential, and these are found in nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. We need a proper balance of omega-6s and omega-3s, with an ideal ratio being 3 to 1. Now, most Westerners consume far too much omega-6s and the imbalance creates inflammation throughout our bodies. And that inflammation promotes atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease, the very thing that a proper balance of omegas is intended to prevent. Omega-6s are abundant in our diet. We need to learn how to increase our intake of omega-3s while limiting our intake of omega-6s. Fish is the best source of the two most important omega-3s, icosa pentanoic acid or EPA and docosa hexanoic acid or DHA. These are the omega-3s from fish oil, EPA and DHA. Fatty fish such as salmon and tuna are very good, while short-lived small pelagic fish such as sardines, anchovies, and mackerel are likely the best sources as the smaller fish are least likely to accumulate toxins. Seaweed and algae are plant sources of omega-3s that are rich in both EPA and DHA. Learn to eat more seaweed and algae. There are many delicious seaweed snacks available. Another omega-3 is alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA. ALA is a less potent form of omega-3, but has been shown to reduce cardiovascular disease. Green leafy vegetables are a good source of ALA, as well as chia seeds, walnuts, kidney beans, and soy foods. Olive oil is in a league of its own. Olive oil does not contain EPA or DHA, and only a small amount of ALA. Olive oil is rich in a monounsaturated fat, oleic acid, which is known to protect against heart attack and stroke. Olive oil also contains polyphenols, which are strong antioxidants that protect against inflammation and cellular damage from free radicals. High quality extra virgin olive oil or EVOO is highly beneficial and an integral part of a Mediterranean diet. Given this information, we would expect that fish oil supplements are heart healthy. However, multiple clinical trials, scientific studies evaluating fish oil have failed to demonstrate a convincing benefit. There simply is not a reduction in the development of cardiovascular disease or the incidence of cardiovascular events such as heart attack or stroke in individuals with established atherosclerosis at baseline. Now let's talk about Lovaza, a pharmaceutical grade prescription fish oil containing both EPA and DHA. Lovaza has also been disappointing in clinical trials. However, the dosing may have been too low. Lovaza was evaluated in the ASCEND trial published in the American Heart Journal in 2018. At a dose of one gram per day, Lovaza failed to show a reduction in vascular events. Lovaza was also evaluated in the VITAL trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2018, again at a dose of one gram per day. Overall, reduction in major adverse cardiac events was not statistically significant. However, those taking Lovaza did have a 28% reduction in risk of heart attack. In particular, there was a 77% reduction in heart attack among African Americans, suggesting that Lovaza is uniquely beneficial for this ethnic group. The story changed with the arrival of Vasipa, which is another pharmaceutical grade prescription fish oil derivative containing only EPA. 
FACIPA was evaluated in the Reducit trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2019 with a dose of 4 grams per day. <clears throat> FACIPA was proven to lower cardiovascular risk, specifically heart attack, stroke, need for coronary vascularization such as stenting, and hospital presentation for cardiac chest pain in patients with established heart disease or simply to provide meaningful risk reduction in patients with diabetes and other cardiac risk factors. Finally, we had a major breakthrough in the fish oil story. The answer is using EPA from fish oil at sufficient doses. In the Reducit trial, Vasipa dramatically increased serum EPA levels by 386% over one year. Benefit was similar and large regardless of initial EPA levels. Patients who attained the highest EPA levels on treatment also experienced fewer hospitalizations for new onset heart failure. In addition, higher EPA levels predicted a lower risk for sudden cardiac death and cardiac arrest. The higher the EPA levels achieved, the better. Interestingly, levels of DHA decreased by 2.9%. Nutritionists recommend that we maintain a 3 to 1 ratio between omega-6 and omega-3. The finding that the highest EPA levels are most beneficial is interesting because we as cardiologists don't know your EPA levels. We don't have routine lab tests to measure EPA or DHA. We know that the Western diet provides far too much omega-6 and not nearly enough omega-3. The majority of the population have an omega-6 to 3 ratio of 15 to 1, while those taking an omega-3 supplement have an average ratio of 7 to 1. Only 1% of North Americans have a 3 to 1 ratio. Your cardiologist will advise you to eat foods that are rich in omega-3, but can't tell you if your intake is adequate. And the consequences of omega fatty acid imbalance are staggering. Systemic inflammation resulting in widespread tissue injury and fibrosis, reduced cellular membrane fluidity, imper impaired nerve and brain function, and unhealthy skin and hair. The findings of the Reducit trial prove the importance of both omega-3 levels and omega-6 to 3 ratios. Because supplements like Lovaza and Vasipa are only available by prescription, I'm now very interested in a commercially available omega rebalancing product called Balance Oil from a company known as Zinzino. Balance Oil from Zinzino is a blend of high-grade fish oil derived from small pelagic fish like sardines, anchovies, and mackerel, rich in EPA and DHA, blended with a special cold-pressed extra virgin olive oil from Spain that is specially selected for its very high content of polyphenols. The Zenzino program provides a blood test measuring your omega-3 levels and omega-6 to 3 ratios. You then swallow two to three teaspoons of balance oil daily for 120 days or four months and then repeat your blood test. 95% of, of consistent users achieve a ratio near 3 to 1. The recommended dose is based on your body weight. The formula is 0.014 teaspoons times your body weight in pounds. So for example, if you weigh 110 pounds, it's 1.5 teaspoons daily. If you weigh 150 pounds, it's 2.0 teaspoons daily. And if you weigh 220 pounds, it's 3 teaspoons daily. The benefit of taking balance oil includes optimal cellular function and a healthy circulation with healthy muscle function, bone structure, better vision, skin health and elasticity with numerous other benefits that accompany protection from oxidative stress and free radicals. Prior to Zenzino, I was using a combination of Omega products, including a fish oil supplement from Nordic Naturals, an extra virgin olive oil, Cola Vita, with Cermet seal guaranteeing this product is entirely from Italy, and olive oil from Gundry MD, which supplies a polyphenol rich olive oil, claiming 20 times more polyphenols than regular extra virgin olive oil. My omega-6 to 3 ratio measured 12.6 to 1, which is worse than the majority of those using omega supplements. 
I'm excited to discover how close Zinzino moves me towards an ideal ratio of three to one. For my weight, my daily dose is three teaspoons per day. I use this convenient measuring cup um, every morning for my dose of balance oil. It takes, tastes great, not fishy at all. So what are you waiting for? It's time to boost your intake of healthy omega-3s while correcting your omega-6 to 3 ratio. Start taking balance oil from Zinzino today. Mm. Use the link provided below this video to order. The balance kit includes your blood test and first month supply of balance oil for $99 US in the United States. The balance oil is then $39 per month. A vegan option is available, which uses algae as a source of omega-3. Balance oil premium is also available with extra polyphenols for $59 a month, but otherwise is the same as non-vegan balance oil. They are both excellent and you can always switch later. You will love the health benefits. Please share your results with us. We love to hear your stories of massive success.